thank you for joining us here at SABWB's I Pray Experience, where we are praying here every Friday morning at 10 a.m. here in San Antonio, Texas. We cover a lots of things in prayer because there are so many things that we need to pray for. And we really want to see the kingdom of God impact every aspect of life in the city of San Antonio, whether you're black, white, brown, Asian, whatever. We want to see the kingdom of God touch your life and for the, for the king of king to use you and advancing his kingdom purposes in and through the city of San Antonio. So thank you for praying with us today. I'm so excited because God is on the move in so many different ways. We just had a phenomenal conference last week, as you may well know, and we're just excited what God did there. We had a great um, uh, opening night. It was invitation-only dinner with uh, speaker was Max Lucado. He was phenomenal. Uh, and we also had the next day a full day conference with Dr. Simone Gold and Dennis Peacock, uh, who are phenomenal speakers in their own right. And so we just invite you to be a member of SABWB and you get to read, see all the videos of everything that we do is behind the scenes on our on the back end, if you will, of our website. So we invite you to do that. We also have a YouTube page, as you may know, uh, and so you can see some snippets of those videos on YouTube, so we invite you to look for that page and look there, too. This prayer meet at meeting will actually be on that YouTube page, so uh, if you haven't prayed with us right at the time that we're doing it live, then you can join us on YouTube or stay on the page, Facebook, Facebook page, and pray with us there. So I just want to open up today just praising God for his amazing goodness. Yes, we had so many people that came out. And I, I just excited because people are, one of the things I said at the conference when I was introducing Dr. Gold, uh, I was thanking, him, thanking her for her presentation that we felt like we were armed and dangerous, armed and dangerous now to the enemy. And, and so that is where we should all be. Uh, we are armed if we receive that which the Lord has given us. And if we employ those weapons of warfare, we are a danger to the enemy. We are going to push back his plans. And that's what we're here to do as members of the body of Christ, through the power of prayer, walking in faith, and using the weapons that God has given us, faith, love, all these things. Love is a weapon. Um, we can use, we can do these things that God has called us to do and advance his kingdom purposes in the earth. So let's just worship the Lord this morning. I want to look at a particular verse of scripture too. Um, I want to read it to you out of the New American Standard Version. Uh, it's Psalm uh, 110, verse 3. And this is what it says. Your people will freely volunteer in the day of your power. I just love that. Isn't that great? And I know it must, it must make God happy to know that his people are freely volunteering in the day of his power. And then the other thing that really excited me, when I looked at that phrase, freely volunteer, what it means is they will be voluntary, voluntary offerings. Isn't that awesome? Amen. I'm a voluntary offering to the Lord. I present myself as a living sacrifice. That's Romans 12. So you see how it all flows together. We are presenting ourselves as, a, as, a, as an offering to the Lord. And it's a free and voluntary offering. And it's an act of worship. If you read Romans 12, it is an act of worship. So you've heard me say several times, many of you have heard me say, worship is not just about the singing of songs. It's the life that we live. And we live it as unto our God and Father. That's what Jesus did, and he is the pattern son. And so we are going to continue to press into the presence of God this morning and to seek his face on behalf of our city. Uh, there's so many things going on. I want us to pray today uh, for our state and our city. And, and we go wherever else the Holy Spirit takes us. But I just, again, want to open up with thanksgiving. Father, we want to thank you. Yes for who you are. Amen. Thank you for what you're doing all around us. And Lord, we are just so excited because we know there is an unseen realm of the spirit and you operate in that realm. And you've called us to operate in that realm as well. And Lord, we, we do it freely. We do it voluntarily. We do it excitedly. We do it because we know that this is really where the action is, yes. in the unseen realm of the spirit. And so we thank you, Lord God, that you have opened a way for us to come into this realm to be in your presence, the, the absolute presence of Almighty God. Even the scriptures tell us that when you went into, when you died on the cross, 
the veil of the temple was rent in two from top to bottom. Yes, and it opened Lord. away from the holy place to the most holy place, which is in your presence. And we are so excited that we know that, that, Lord, you have made a way where there was no way. We could not Amen. go there. No one could go there unless they were washed clean. But you have cleaned us, washed us and cleansed us from our sins by the precious blood of Jesus. And you have, in doing that, opened a door for us to come into your presence, to seek your face, to worship you, to hear your voice in a way that we can never hear it if we were so far away from you. But, Lord, you have drawn us close to you, and we are so glad. We are so glad because you are our Father, you are our rock, you are our fortress, you are our everything. And, Lord, we know that apart from you, we are nothing. So we are so thankful today. Lord, first and foremost, that our names are written in the Lamb's Book of Life. And we just bless your holy name today. We want to thank you, Lord, for the conference and the, and the dinner we had last week. Now it seems like a long time ago, but so many things have happened since then. But Lord, uh, it was just last week, and you drew people there from all uh, parts of our city and even beyond the city came. We want to thank you, Lord God, that your people will freely volunteer and that this day of your power, your people are Hallelujah. learning who they are. They are learning what yes. uh, tools you have given us, what weapons you have given us, and how to use it. Lord, even as the scriptures say, you are training our hands for, uh, for battle and our mm -hmm. fingers for war. And Lord, Hallelujah. you are teaching Thank us as Lord. the body of Christ how to engage Thank in effective you. spiritual warfare for you. Recognizing, Lord, that you've called us to serve you in this important place. Mm -hmm. That, Lord, as we serve you, Lord, we are advancing your kingdom purposes in the earth. And, Lord, we want to thank you that we know that we're not just saved. We are, in, and we are born again, washed, and are now a member of the kingdom of God. We are in the kingdom of, of God. And you have called us to help advance that kingdom in the earth and that's what we're doing as we pray today and so we thank you lord for calling us into your service thank you for calling us into your presence mm -hmm. thank you for washing us thank you for forgiving us thank you for justifying us thank you for all that you have done for us and we just bless you this morning we thank you for who you are we say we love you with all that is within us yes, Jesus. there is none like you lord you are the one true god we worship and adore you. We extol you, Lord. We lift you high. Let's just have a, a time of worship and prayer. Worship toward the Lord, exalting his name as we pray here this morning. Let's just begin there. Come on. Yes, Father. We glorify your name, Father. We exalt you, Lord. Yes, Father, Father. We exalt you, for you are the King of kings and the Lord of all. You are the great I am, Father God. In the name of Jesus, above you there are no other gods. You are God and God alone. Glory be to your name, Father. Glory be to your name. You are worthy. You are worthy to be exalted. Yes, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Glory be to your name, Father. Glory be to your name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for your mercy, Father God. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your grace, Father God. Yes, Lord, thank you for your grace, dear Lord. Father, we thank you because it's all about you, Lord, and not about us, Father God. We thank you, Lord God, that we are your vessels, Father God. Yes, Father God. We are your disciples, Father God, in the name of Jesus. And we glorify you because you are within us, Father God. Yes, Father God. And we can do all things in the name of Jesus. You have set us up on high places, Father God. And we just thank you, Lord. We thank you, Father God. We thank you that when we call upon your name, Father God, that the enemy just runs, Father God. He flees, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Glory be to your name. You are worthy, worthy, worthy of being exalted, Father. Yes, exalted, Father God, in the name of Jesus. We glorify you, Lord. We glorify you, Father God. Mm. For you are God and God alone, Father God. Hallelujah. Beside you there is no other. You are God. Glory be to your name. Beside you there is Glory no other. Glory be. You are the great I am, Lord. The great I am. Hallelujah. 
Glory be to your name, O God. Glory be to your name. You're the true God. Yes. Hallelujah, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. Glory be to your name, Lord God. Glory, glory, glory. One of the specific things I want to thank you for is, is that we are sitting here in the state of Texas. And because you have given us some excellent leaders, governmental leaders in the state, I want to thank you for our governor, Greg Abbott. Yes, Lord. And his determination, his commitment to follow you and to serve you. And Lord, that was demonstrated just this past week when he signed into law the, the fetal heartbeat bill. Amen. Lord, I want to thank you for that. I want to thank you. Yes, yes Lord. Lord, we want thank to you. thank you because, Lord, this has the potential to d end abortion in our city, in our state. Yes. And, Lord, that means the whole uh, issue of blood, mm -hmm. spilled, uh, unrighteously spilt blood, will not be in the state of Texas any longer. We have Amen. that Jesus. opportunity. Thank you. And so we want to thank you, Lord God, for our elected officials. Lord, you have ex exhorted us in your word. You said, first of all, pray. Pray for kings and all those who are in authority that we might live uh, godly and peaceful lives in all godliness. That's what you said. I, maybe I should find that scripture and just read it because it is so appropriate here, uh, given what we're, what, we're, what we're saying here. It is it is. It is 1 Timothy chapter 2, verses 1 and 2. Therefore I exalt, exhort, first of all, first of all, that supplications, prayers, intercessions, and giving of thanks be made for all men, for kings and all who are in authority, that we may lead a quiet and peaceable life in all godliness and reverence. Father, we, that's what we, we are thanking you for. For this legislation is opening up a door for us to lead a quiet and peaceable life in all godliness and reverence. We thank you, Lord God, that that is what happens when we elect righteous men and women to positions of authority who will uh, promulgate and pass the kinds of laws that establish this kind of environment. And Lord, Thank we you. recognize that some people really want abortion for different reasons. And Lord, they, they couch it in different ways. But Lord, we recognize that according to your word, abortion and other things uh, is really the unrighteous spilling of blood. And, and there is a penalty for that according to your word. And so we want to thank you, Lord God, that we're now uh, at a point in the state of Texas where um, these things don't have to happen anymore. So we want to thank you, Lord, for our elected officials who are bold enough, confident enough, compelled enough by your spirit, I would say, to promulgate this legislation and for a governor that would sign it into law. Lord, we thank you. We bless you. We praise you. Let's just Hallelujah. begin and pray around that issue this morning. The fact that abortion <coughs> is being dealt with in the state of Texas. Lord, you are, you are marking this state. You are marking our state. And we thank you, Lord, that this is becoming a state where people can, can live freely and live joyfully, live Hallelujah. peacefully. Yes, thank you, Lord. We thank you for that. Thank you, Father. In Continue to Jesus. do that, Lord. Continue to move by thank your spirit. You, Lord. And our elected officials. Yes. That these will be the kinds of things that we do. That create an atmosphere in our city, in our state, in every city in our state. That where people can live peacefully. And we can love you and love one another, Lord. Uh, we recognize that this is a kingdom purpose of God. To impact every city, every state, every nation with your presence. Yes. With the presence of heaven, so to speak. And Lord, we pray in the name of Jesus that you will do this in the state of Texas. And thank you again for Governor Abbott and our elected yes. officials in the state of Texas who are promulgating this kind of legislation. Bless them, anoint Bless them, them and, and uh, embolden them, them to do more in Jesus' name. Yes. Thank Amen. you for more opportunities, more opportunities, Lord God, to be able to protect these little babies, Father. Thank you, Jesus. And thank you, Lord, for raising up more people, Lord God, that, that want to 
make sure that righteous decisions are made in their cities and their states and all over the United States, Lord God. We just thank you. We just ask you to bless these people. Alan Parker, I think about him, Lord. Bless him, Father God. Yes, thank Jesus. you that 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 uh, for the people that are surrounding him and are are uh, um, you know protecting protect, protecting this right to to have un, for these babies not to be uh, affected. Oh Lord God, thank you. Lord, I lift up nurses too that are that are. Uh, in the hospitals, Lord God, that are stuck in situations where they have to help with these uh, abortions, Lord God. And I pray that they they uh, can make a stand and uh, and they're respected for it, not looked down upon it, Lord God, for giving life. Lord, thank you that Texas is a state that wants to stand for life, oh Lord. Thank you, Lord. And I, 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 just, I just pray for all the pastors, Lord God, that that uh, can encourage their their congregations in this way, Lord God. Father, I thank you, Father. Thank you for for miracles in this uh, in the, Ray, the Roe versus Wade thing, Lord God. Anything that has to do with it, Lord. Thank you, Father. Dear God, we ask you forgive us, our nation, for the sins yes. that we have all the babies that we killed. Just forgive us, wash away the iniquity and the wickedness, heal our land, flood our world with revival, and mm. restore our churches to righteousness and holiness. And dear Lord, the enemy knows that when we unite together that we're more powerful. And <laughs> Galatians come 326, you are all sons of God through faith in Christ Jesus. For all of you who were baptized in Christ have clothed yourselves with Christ. There is neither Jew nor Greek, slave nor free, male nor female, for you are all one in Christ Jesus. If you belong to Christ, then you are Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise. The scripture just tells us, God, lead us. Our prayer is to lead us into your presence and make us one in you. We're united together. We are just a bigger force to the enemy. We rebuke the enemy and all his evilness and all his sin. And may we unite together and may Texas be just a leader Amen. to the rest of the yes. nation in this abortion law. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for all of those people in our state that made this possible. Governor Abbott and all all the the nonprofits that helped get this pushed through. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Yeah. Mm. Lord, I pray that you just open up people's eyes. There, there's people that, even believers, Lord God, that that just yes. believe that this there should be complete freedom to do this, Lord God. But I just ask that you to open up their eyes, their understanding. And... Uh, According to what your word says, Lord God, that it's 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 not good to, to kill a person, Lord God, and I just thank you for opening up their eyes that they mm. can see and understand. Yeah, yes. Father, may this may this legislation mark the beginning of a new something that you're doing in our state, yes. a culture yes. of life. Yes, may it spread through the entirety of the state of Texas. May yes. May it really be a celebration of life and recognition that life begins at conception and, and we won't put scientific words around things to sort of confuse people or to change the subject. But Lord, we recognize life begins at conception. Lord, you, you plant us as seeds in our mother's wombs. That, that's what the word says. And, and so you know it, and you knew us. You knew us even before we were born. You knew it. And so, Lord, we want to thank you, Lord, for where life begins. And we thank you, Lord, that the state of uh, the legislature of Texas is recognizing the, the, the preciousness of life and protecting that preciousness of life. And we want to thank you and pray your blessings upon the legislature of Texas. We want to pray your blessings upon the entire state of Texas. We pray, Lord God, that as, as we are doing this, it opens up it opens up a, a season of blessing on the state of Texas in all kinds of ways, Lord God. We know that the unrighteous spilling of blood opens up 
doors of, of cursing. But Lord, we're asking, Lord God, that this legislation would open up doors and channels of blessing to the state of Texas. And that, Lord God, you'll bless us in ways that we don't even know. We don't even, can't even comprehend it. Lord, that's who you are. Eyes have not seen and ears have not entered and ears have not heard what you have planned for those who love you. And so we say, Lord, work your work, your perfect work. And all that you have planned for those of us who love you, we ask, oh God, you begin to release it over the state of Texas at now, at this point. That, Lord, as we have enacted this legislation in this state, and we're making a statement, as it were, to the powers of darkness, that yeah, this yeah, is yeah, where yeah, life yeah, thrives. Yeah, yeah, so, so yeah, let yeah, life yeah, thrive yeah, in the state yeah, of Texas. Yeah, all yeah, life. Yeah, abundant yeah, life, yeah, spiritual yeah, life, yeah, and, of yeah, course, yeah, natural yeah, life. Yeah, let it yeah, thrive yeah, in the state yeah, of Texas. Yeah, 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 we just commit that to you. We ask, oh God, for you to intervene by your spirit. We ask for you to so move by your spirit on the heart of legislators. Now, Lord, they, if they did not vote for this, that they will have the conviction of the Holy Spirit upon them. And they will recognize that if they did not, they should have voted for it. They should have supported it because they are supporting life. Amen. And Lord, if we did not have life, where would they be? Lord, we ask in the name of Jesus that you will do this in our heart, the heart of our legislators. That, Lord, you will so mark the state of Texas as a, a place where life thrives. So we commit it to you for that purpose. We commit the state of Texas to you for that purpose. Lord, have your glorious way in this state. Move by your spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory be to your name, Lord. Glory be to your name. Hallelujah. Father, I also pray that for those babies that have been born and they have not uh, uh, been in a family, they've been in a home somewhere. Lord, we ask that you would cause them to be adopted. Yes, Lord. That, Lord, provision will be made for them in the state of Texas. And from the state of Texas, that, Lord God, will have many of these children who may have been born out of wedlock, as we used to say years ago, out of wedlock. Yeah. That they will be adopted into a loving Hallelujah. family and they will be Thank incorporated you, into a family. They will no longer feel alone. They will no longer feel rejected. All of those things that the enemy does to steal, to kill, and to destroy. Those thoughts, those feelings, those uh, emotions that we pray that these people, these young ones who are born, uh, will not feel that, but they will be uh, uh, drawn into families. Lord, you say in your word, you said the lonely in families. And so we ask that you do that. We ask, oh God, that you do that over and over again in the state of Texas. That we will have, we will become not only a place where abortion does not thrive, but but life thrives, but also a place where adoptions thrive. Yes, yes. life and love in the state of Texas. Lord, we ask that you mark us that way. Yes, yes, Jesus. I like that. A life and love. Let it thrive in the state of Texas. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for the privilege, dear Lord, just to come before your very presence this morning, Lord, as we exalt your name, Father God. And Father God, I just pray that here in our city, Father God, here in San Antonio, Lord God, that the doors would open for these children to be adopted. Yes. Father God, even the teenagers, dear Lord, not just the infant, not just not the That's toddlers, right. but the That's teenagers right. also. Father, here in our own city, a shelter was closed, dear Lord, and children are sleeping in the offices of caseworkers, Father God. Over 35 children, Father God, sleeping on the floor because they have no place to go. But Father, you are God and God Almighty, and you will open the doors, Father God, for these children to be uh, fostered into a loving home, Father God, mm -hmm. something that they have not known, Father God. And Father God, I ask in the name of Jesus that 
as you open the doors for these homes, Father God, for these children to come into, that they would be homes of believers, Father yes. God, in the name of Jesus, Father God. Yes, Father God, your word says that there's nothing impossible for you, Lord, and I know and I believe, Father God, that these children will be well provided for, Father God, because I stand on your word, Lord. Yes, yes I stand on your word that nothing is impossible. Yes. So, Father God, open the hearts, Father God, of people, Father God, of believers, especially believers, Father God, where these children will be provided for, nurtured and loved, and not molested or any any damaging effect that can come upon their lives, Father God. So, Father God, I just thank you for the people that you you will be preparing, Father God, to accept a child, Father God, into their home, or maybe uh, yes. siblings, Father God, where the families are not broken up, Father God. We thank you, Lord, for what you are doing. We praise your almighty name, Father thank God, in the Lord. name of Jesus. Because above you, there are no other gods. No, Lord. And I just thank you in advance, Lord. I thank you in advance, and I praise you, Lord, for you moving in this situation, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory be to your name, Lord. Glory be to your name. Hallelujah. And Lord, these young kids, children that are waiting for a home, Lord God, I pray that you would just intervene and yes. in their lives, just uh, blow them away, Lord God, where they are right now, that they would have visions and dreams, Lord God, of who you are, Lord God. Hallelujah. That you would make a way for them, Lord God, to know you. Your presence would yes. be so strong. Oh, God, yes. I They'd be saying, why, why, why is this happening? Why can't I have a mommy and daddy like everybody else? And I just thank you, Lord, for just moving in on their lives, Lord God, and opening up their understanding of your word. Just draw them to you by your Holy Spirit. Oh, cool. yes. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Father, even as we open in prayer today, we pray for the people of God freely volunteering in this day of your power. And Lord, we pray that even in the context of this, Lord God, that the people of God will see themselves as those who will, will uh, open their hearts, yes. open their homes to to adopt, to foster children who need a home, those who need a home, and they need yes. love. And Lord, we ask, yes. oh God, for you to put that on the hearts of your people, that again, in this day, that we will be known as a, a state of life and a state of love and a state of family, that Lord, you will do this and that you will put the lonely in family, you will put the, 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 the adopted, uh, those yes. who get to be adopted, put them in families and, and let them know that they are loved and they can be a part of a loving community and they can thrive and they can grow. Lord, we ask for that in Jesus' name. We want to thank you, Lord, that even in the city here of San Antonio, there has an initiative started of, of called De Decade of Family. And, Lord, we know that that incorporates a lot of issues, but one of the key things is family is children. And we pray, Lord God, that, that uh, you will bless the decade of family. You will cause this to be a decade where, where children are adopted in their families uh, all over the city of San Antonio. And from the city, oh God, this message will, will, yes, will go forth of, of adoption particularly in the light of this recent legislation that has been passed. We pray, Lord God, that adoptions would soar through the roof, Lord God, that we'll be, every day we'll hear of someone being adopted. We'll see, we'll see more and more pe children and people, young people, babies, infants being adopted. Lord, I want to thank you for the couple that I know personally know in Pennsylvania that came here to San Antonio to adopt a beautiful little boy. He's a beautiful little boy. He's growing up beautifully. And Lord, I want to thank you that they found a child here in this city and they could adopt this child here. And Lord, I pray, Lord God, that this will go on over and over again. That, Lord, we will bless the nation by how you move upon us here in the city of San Antonio. Lord, we want to thank you for, again, that culture of life and love. In the state, in the state, and in the city of Thank San Antonio. You, Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I just ask, Father God, and I pray, Lord God, that 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 families are a, be, are able to um, be provided with the means, Father God, hmm. of adopting a child. Hallelujah. It's not, it's not cheap, Lord, to adopt a child nowadays, Father God. Oh, so shit. families that are wanting to open up their homes, to foster and to love mm -hmm. and to nurture children, Father God, 
that that if they don't have the funds that you would open up a window yes. from heaven father yes. god and let the blessings yes. pour out upon the, these families lord god yes father god i ask this in the name of jesus father god yes lord god i thank you lord i thank you for what you are doing in these families father god i thank you that you're preparing these homes father god for these children to be welcomed and loved father god in the name of jesus to be brought up in the ways of the lord father god not in the ways of the world but to be brought up in the ways of the yes. Lord, Father God. Oh, yeah, that is so important, it, dear Lord. And Father God, I just thank you, Father God, in the name of Jesus, for your hands are already, I thank you for your almighty hands, Father God, already over this situation, yes. Father God. Glory be to your name. Even though we cannot see it, Lord, and at times we can only see the beginning, but you can see the end. Hallelujah. And I give you the glory, Lord God, for what you are doing at this very moment in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Glory be to your name. Thank, Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You know, that these children would even, before they're adopted by a human being, that they know that they're adopted by you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. Yep. Lord, you've adopted Glory each and every one of yes. us into the family of God, yeah. and we are so grateful. Yes. We are so grateful, Lord God, that adoption was your idea. Yes. Amen. You started it all by adopting us into Christ, and so mm -hmm. we thank you, Lord God, thank that, Lord, you. you are the author of life itself. Every yes. Everything that we come up with, Lord, that is a good thing, it actually comes from you. Lord, it, it starts in you, and you put these ideas, these thoughts, these ministries into our spirits, and Lord, we execute them. And so I want to thank you that even now, as we are praying, you are speaking to individual husbands, husbands and wives, couples yes. and families, saying, this, we should adopt. Yes. We should adopt. Yes. They, they, you, Lord, they might not have thought place. about it before. Thank they you. might not have yes. spoken about it with each other. But, Lord, they are talking about it now with each other right. because you are moving by your spirit on their hearts. Mm -hmm. And you are, you are causing couples to commit to this process of adoption that, Lord God, we will have powerful Good families in our city of, of San Antonio and in the state of Texas. Families that love their children, husbands that love their wives like Christ loves the church. Wives that respect their husbands as, as Christ is the head and they recognize their husband as the head of the family. And we thank you, Lord God, this is what you're doing in our city. You're doing it in our state. You're doing it now. We say, Lord, continue to do it. Work your perfect work. Lord, it's time that we're seeing this aspect of the word become flesh. Jesus Hallelujah. is the word made flesh. Yes. He dwelt among us. And Lord, Thank that is the Lord. process. You, the word of God must be made flesh. It is real and tangible. Yes. And so you're, you're, you're moving you, on the hearts of your people in so many ways that we are seeing the word become tangible. Thank you, Lord. Yes. It's not a theory. It's not an idea. It's not a religion. It is real. Yes. And Lord, we want to thank you that our relationship with you is real. Hallelujah. And everything that comes out of it is real. Amen. And Lord, we really want you to impact our city and impact our state. And Lord, impact our nation with what you do through us, the body of Christ. Amen. As the word becomes flesh in us, it becomes real in us. Amen. We live it out every moment of every day. Amen. Hallelujah. Be glorified, mm -hmm. Lord. That yes. is our desire, yes. that you would be glorified yes. by what you have called us to do. As we do it, Lord God, that the glory goes to you. Sure, Lord, we, yes. we deserve no glory. You deserve all the glory. Yes. Lord, we're only Thank doing God. what we're doing Lord, because you have God. empowered us. Praise. You've enabled us. You have urged Thank us to you, do Lord. these good works. And so we thank you and praise you that this is the hour that we're living in when the body of Christ is rising to this occasion mm -hmm. and is doing these good works. We're doing it as unto you, our God. Mm -hmm. It is an act of worship. Yes. yes. Hallelujah. Oh, Glory be to your name. Mm -hmm. Father, I just thank you for restoring the family unit. Hallelujah. We thank you for restoring, Father. Lord, the family. Yes. It, Lord, there's so many things that the word calls us to do, but there's so many things that tug on us and pull us in different directions. Father, to where we can't fulfill uh, adoption. We can't fulfill the things you've called us to do. So Lord, we ask that you would restore that family yes. unit, that men would stand up in the house as the priests of their home, that they would become men again. Father, that they would be men of the house and that they would do what the word says, that they would hear the word of the Lord and they would obey. Oh, oh God, that they would shema, hear and obey. 
that they would do what the word says to do, knowing that you will provide for them. You are Jehovah Jireh. Lord, we thank you, Father, for restoring the men, that the men would uh, have a heart after God once again. Father, and that they would take care of these uh, orphans and widows and these uh, young children that don't have a home, that they would have that heart because they're the leader of that home. It shouldn't always be the wife having the passion and love for God. Lord, even in this room, it's full of women. That's awesome. But where are the men? Hallelujah. Yes, yes. yes Lord. Yes. Thank Lord, you, we ask that you'd restore the men and, and the Lord that yes. <laughs> they don't, they are so focused on chasing after things. Lord, and we have become so passive and lazy. Oh, God, we ask you to restore the men. You, that you restore Thank the men in the you, church. Yes. That you would restore the men to be Thank fathers you. spiritually and to these babies that need homes, yes. oh, God. That they would become men. Yes. Lord, that they would be filled with the power and love of God. Amen. Once yes. again, Lord, that you would call them home, Father, to be at their home. Lord, that they would stop trying to chase things and that they would go spend time with their wife. That they would go spend time with their children. That they would go spend time in your word. Oh, God, that they would no longer just be uh, tossed to and fro like a wave in the sea, Father. So, Lord, we just thank you for those men being fathers of not just their own children, but fathers for others. Fa spiritual fathers, as Paul was saying, Lord, that we need fathers. Lord, if we had more fathers, there wouldn't be so many people wanting to commit abortions. Lord, there were, if we had more fathers, there wouldn't, there, we would not have children that need to be adopted. Lord, we need more fathers to be able to teach and to be able to mentor and be able to lead others to say, don't fall down the same trap I did. Lord, we just thank you, Lord, for restoring the fatherhood. Oh, God, that men would be restored. And, Lord, I see, oh, Lord, yeah. these children and these uh, oh, clinics yeah. that need a father or need parents that are not adopted yet. Lord, I just thank you. What the enemy meant for evil, that you would turn it together for yes. good. Yes. Lord, that you would call out yeah. the Davids and the Elijahs and the Samsons out of those homes and that they would be fathered and mothered well. Amen. Oh, God, yeah. that the, that the gift... <clears throat> that the gifting and the calling that's on their life would not be destroyed because of this situation. Oh, God. Oh, God. The enemy's trick and plan to cause them to come out striped, uh, as Jacob did to the sheep in the Old Testament. We thank you, Lord, for these kids, that they would be protected. Father, that, they would not be, that their soul would not be tainted and not be hindered, Father, to where they're going their whole life trying to come to God, but they're just so beaten up in their soul. Lord, protect them from that. Yes, And Lord. give them good parents. Yes. And, Lord, you said you're a father to the fatherless. Yes. They are, I declare over these children, they are not abandoned. Amen. They are Jesus. not forsaken. Jesus. Jesus. They are Amen. not uh, stricken. They are loved. Yes. They are mighty children of God. Jesus. They are adopted by God. They are loved by God. Amen. And, Father, you said... It better be a millstone tied around your neck than to hurt one of these little ones. So, Lord, you you be their father. Yes, Lord. Lord, you, Lord, if we love them, we love Jesus. They are little Jesuses walking around that need love, and as what you do to them, you will uh, you are doing to Jesus. And so, Lord, we just thank you for giving us a heart and a passion and the grace that we need to do that. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Father, we pray that, that there would be a, a celebration over adoption. Hallelujah. Yes. That the focus would, would shift from death and killing to life and giving. Hallelujah. Lord, you can turn the spotlight on when you're ready. And I believe you're ready to make this shift. Yes. So we just pray that here in San Antonio and in other cities that adoption would be highlighted yes. and celebrated and yes. the meaning and value of adoption would be seen and be lifted up, Lord, its value, its purpose, its benefit. And uh, we know that you can do that and you're doing that, Father, in many areas. You're beginning to highlight and celebrate the beauty of adoption. Hallelujah. Even so, Lord, let it be. Even so, Lord, let more and more families, more and more people say, yes, we want to be adopted yes, family. We want to be an included family. We want to be an expanded family. We want to be a family where people feel invited to be a part of this family. And that, Lord, adoption will be something that is 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 is, is just normal. It's just normal in the city of San Antonio. It's just family, a new family. And it is love. It is love demonstrated. 
in yes. that context. And we want to thank you, Lord God, that it deals with issues of loneliness. It deals with issue of purpose. It deals with so many issues, mm -hmm. and it will it will it will bless Amen. our city. Amen. It will bless. It will it will deal with homelessness yes, issues. Lord. It will deal yes. with so many issues Lord, of God, people God. downcast God. in their own yes. spirits. Lord, it will deal with so many issues yes. as people are, are, are lovingly adopted into families. Yes. And Lord, we ask that you will do this. We ask that you will do it over and over again. We ask that you will move on the hearts of pastors to begin to preach about yes. adopting children in the families, yes. that, that you will see this yes. in churches, that Lord, we will adopt oh, yeah. in churches, you will see a move of, yes. I just saw a yes. Facebook uh, post the other day of a woman who was hugging, uh, uh, looking adoringly at her grandchild from a, a girl that she adopted as a child mm -hmm. herself so now she's got a grandbaby mm -hmm. so Lord, and we see oh. from generation to generation you are God Yes. And that is how it works. And Lord, yes. as these people are adopted into loving families, they will grow up and have their own families and, and, and the family continues. Yes. And we ask, oh God, that you will do this over and over again. Yes. We ask, oh God, that this city and this state will be known as a place of family. I remember. I remember one time driving into the city of San Antonio and, and feeling by your spirit that there is something that walks the city and I felt family. And Lord, I pray, I pray that that spirit, the Holy Spirit, uh, 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 will highlight the importance of family in the city of San Antonio. Mm -hmm. And that Lord God, yes, this will be a city. It will be a refuge city for those who need families. Mm -hmm. And those will be adopted in the families in the city of San Antonio. Lord, mm -hmm. anoint us with this. Yes. Amen. Let us yes. be anointed by you Jesus. to demonstrate what family really is in the city of San Antonio. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Prepare yes. our hearts to do this. Yes. To serve you in this way. We thank you, Lord God, for the San Antonio Marriage Initiative, where, where the, where the uh, Decade of Family was birthed in that initiative. We pray, Lord God, you will bless the work of their hands. Bless every person that's working there. Every person that is working to partner in the Decade of Family. I want to thank you for Pastor Mitchell Moore at First, First Presbyterian Church. I know he's working with us in the ministry unicity. Lord, I pray that you will bless these initiatives right here in our city of San Antonio. Thank you. And that, Lord, will be used of you. Yes. 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 Used of you. Yes, Jesus. To demonstrate who you really are. Hallelujah. That you are God of love. Mm. For you so loved the world that you sent your only begotten son. And we want to thank you. Amen. That your love is the most important, most powerful force on the face of the earth. Is your love. You said it cannot fail. Love cannot fail. It does not fail. Mm -hmm. And so we Amen. thank you, Lord God, that we as, as Christians will be uh, those who love proudly, love boldly, love continually Amen. all over our city. Yes, Jesus. That when people come to the city of San Antonio, they will walk into an atmosphere of love. Yes, Jesus. Yes. They will know that this city is different because you have marked us as different. Mm -hmm. And we thank you and praise you for what you're doing in our city. We pray that you will continue to work your perfect work, continue to change hearts and minds, mm -hmm. continue to change situ situations, mm -hmm. and make it reflect you, reflect the truth of Amen. your word. We ask that you will continue to do these things in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Lord, we just also ask for a new submission to you, God, mm -hmm. that it would just be so wonderful if you could empower us with the grace to have a fresh submission to you. What if so many more people were submitted to your authority oh and listening? to your voice and hearing what you want us to do lord we just believe that the word says in james submit yourselves to god resist the enemy and yes, he will flee from you right. so lord in this prayer meeting we just are submitting ourselves yes, to yes, you lord. submitting ourselves to your will 
submitting ourselves to your thoughts in your word and your voice and we just ask for a a new clarity in our submission god that things would be moved out of the way that are clouding our thinking and not uh, enabling us to be completely submitted to your will and your purposes yes. and your viewpoints and mm. your heart and your passion and your direction and we're just believing that we can come into a new submission in the city of San Antonio Hallelujah. in our churches uh, in our families Lord what if we were just all beginning to turn to you during this time of crisis and submit ourselves to you so that we could yes. hear clearly direction Hallelujah. for families and Lord our city council mm -hmm. how they need to be submitted to you oh, in the God. laws Hallelujah. and the rules yes. that they yes, make Lord, yes. that will be what is in the best interest of of everybody involved God we're just mm -hmm. living in such times that we need to have your wisdom God and and the fear of God is the beginning of wisdom, Hallelujah. Lord. So during this time that we're living in that have been fearful and so many things, uh, fear can infiltrate and we get paralyzed. Lord, we just want to cast that off and submit to a loving Father who can yes. guide us through everything that we're going through. and and can make a difference uh, in, in then as we obey you, Lord. It can make a difference. So this is what we're doing as we pray, Lord. We're submitting to you. We're drawing close to Hallelujah. you. Uh, and you Beautiful. said if yes. we will draw near to you, you will draw yes, near to us, say. Lord. Yes. And we can cleanse our hands and our hearts from maybe things we've done in the past that haven't worked. And, and we can see uh, a great move of your spirit and your grace in this city, Lord. Yes. So I just pray, help us to turn to you. Yes. And, uh, yes. Dear Lord, let's salute the greatest image in America and stand up for America. Let us be grateful for our lives that we were given to us to be free. And may we stand together and fight for our country that was founded on Judeo-Christian values. May we unite together. And dear Lord, I just lift up this conference that's gonna be in Dallas next weekend for God and Country Patriot Rounds Up. Uh, protect um, General Flynn, Sidney Powell, and all those dignitaries, and rebuke those that are standing up against that. And yes. just the ones that are together and and those that are putting this conference together, protect them and keep them safe so that we can band together and unite and do whatever we need to do to help save our country for you, dear Lord Jesus. We need to save our liberties and save our freedoms and honor those that fought for our freedoms. In your name we pray. But we recognize that one of the things that we can do always do for our city for our country is this prayer that's what we're praying mm -hmm. but lord even it certainly is participating in the electoral process yes and we we want to pray for that because we are in early voting runoffs right now yes. but in here in this city for those who will not did not uh, get a clear victory in our last uh, election period and they are now engaged in runoffs i think in about four four mm -hmm. different councils and so that early voting is May 24th through June 1st, so it's right around the corner. Mm -hmm. And so that election day for the runoffs is June 5th, mm -hmm. so it's right around the corner. And so we need to pray, we need to pray, we need to pray that the, the church that are in these different districts, and they know what district they're in, they know what district uh, still needs to have an election. Lord, I pray, I pray that these people will hear your your voice yes, calling them to not give up to not forget to not uh shy away but but to be engaged yet now still in this electoral process in the city of san antonio that even this 
as an act of worship, Lord God, as we as we position ourselves to learn about the candidates, to find out those who are really men and women of God who will do that which is righteous, who will do that which is comports with Scripture, as we've already shared, uh, who will be men or women who who will be who uh, uh, enact the rules and the procedures in the city of, of San Antonio that will enable us to live quiet and peaceable life in all godliness and reverence. Lord, those are the kinds of people that we want to be elected to the city council here in the city of San Antonio. So we ask, oh God, that you by your spirit remove on the hearts of these men and women in these districts mm. to vote, Jesus. to not just walk away, to not forget about it, to not be uh, disengaged, but to be fully engaged. And to see even that is an act of worship. Lord, I just commit that to you. We ask, oh God, that we have a godly, reverential, city council in our city yes, yes. yes. men and women who know you men and women who love you men and women who recognize that they are there and part of what they're there there to do is to to serve your purposes in that position and so we ask oh god that you will give us a righteous city council and mayor yes Jesus. and that lord god if we don't have Righteous people there, we ask, oh God, that you will just move by your spirit upon their hearts, that they will be impacted by something, yes, mm -hmm. yes. that you will send someone or something their yes. way that will draw them to you, that will they will have that Amen. aha moment, Lord, I need to yes. be a Christian, Amen. I need to get my, commit yes, myself to God. Lord, we're asking around. for you to do that. Lord, you, can, yes. you have a long Amen. arm, according to the scripture, mm -hmm. nothing, uh, a long arm where you can reach people mm -hmm. to, to heal them, reach oh. them, to save them. And Lord, we're asking, oh God, that you will pull into your heart yes. those men and women who serve in political leadership in our city who do not know you, that they will come to know you, that, Lord, their eyes will be opened. Where they have walked in darkness and not seen the light of, of, of love and life in Jesus Christ, yes, open their eyes to see it. Yes. And cause them to want you. Cause them to desire you. Lord, as the scriptures say, succor them. Yes. Draw them to yourself. Lord, may they recognize that you are good mm -hmm. and all that you do is good. And may they no longer yes. believe a lie that the enemy tells that you are not good. Amen. Mm -hmm. yes. Lord, we pray in the name Amen. of Jesus that that lie be totally eradicated. Mm -hmm. Jesus. Lord, we are here to declare who you are, your goodness, your love, your mercy, your grace. Hallelujah. And we thank you, Lord. Yes, Father. That as we pray, our labor is not in vain in you, Lord. You are That's using right. every word, yes. every tear that drips down our faces, every cry of our hearts, Lord, even, even the you, silent Lord. ones that we do not articulate, we do not give mm -hmm. voice to. You hear mm -hmm. them all, Lord. Yes. Yes. You know them all. You know one word before it proceeds out of our mouths. You yes. know it all together. Thank you you know the thoughts of our hearts and the intents of our heart. You know it all. Yes. You know yes. everything, oh God. Nothing is hidden from oh, you. Yeah. And we are so excited about that because that means, Lord God, every moment of every day is unto you. And, Lord, you can use it all to cause your will to be done. And, Lord, we just do pray for the Christians of our city that, Lord, we will come deeper engaged yes. uh, with you, that we will walk with you, we will, mm -hmm. we will, we will um, commit our lives to you in a deeper way, that even as was prayed earlier, that, Lord, there will be a move of your spirit that draws us deeper into the things of God. Yes. And we will recognize, that, Lord, as we come deeper into the things of God, that, Lord, you have called us to serve you in every area of life in our city. That there's nothing off limits from you. Lord, it is in you that we live and move and have our being. No other place. In you. So we thank you, Lord God, that we are in you and you are in us. And we thank you for your word that is in us. And we are in your word, too. We pray, Lord God, that this will just grow deeper in these days. As we are approaching summer, we pray, Lord God, that uh, children will go to summer camps and they will be uh, surrounded by loving Christians yes. and they'll be surrounded yes. by the word of God and that, Lord Amen. God, they will be fed by you in these Amen. summer camps and, Lord God, you will do something to, yes. to grow up a people, a, 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 a people who know you, who love you, who have committed their lives to you. Lord, I pray, Amen. we pray, that you will do something deep and profound in the city of Texas, city of San Antonio, 
Texas. In the state of Texas. Thank you. That marks us Thank you. as a place yes. where you rule and reign by your spirit. Lord, we want it, our city and our state to be known as a godly place. Mm -hmm. And so we ask for you to move by your spirit and make it so. Yes. Yes. And Lord, we just, we really wage warfare through the prophetic word yes, that has been do. spoken over San Antonio. Yes, we do. The, uh, that this would be a, a forerunner, forerunner of revival. Hallelujah. And Lord, that means an outpouring of your spirit. Yes. And Lord, we're just waiting and we know that we, we're waiting for a promise that you have made Hallelujah. and you don't break your promises. Yes. Hallelujah. Your Hallelujah. promises are yes and amen. amen. Yes. And we just declare that over this city, yes. that this will be a city of an outpouring of revival Hallelujah. and that even our government will be changed yes. lord to be an example to other cities yes. of a government that is on the shoulders of on your shoulders lord these are promises that have been spoken and we just we declare those we declare this manifold wisdom that yes. we have all heard we declare it uh, to the principalities and yes, powers that do. have ruled yes. in the past because their days are numbered and you're going to overpower uh, their work, Lord, by your manifold wisdom, God, by yes. your prophetic words over this city. They will have to leave and uh, they you will uh, really dust them away <laughs> with your with your hand oh god there's Lord nothing god. compared yes. to what you can do in this city god Lord, as we Lord, unite Lord, together Lord. in yeah. humility Amen. and love mm -hmm. and prayer and repentance and unity Lord. that's right that's right and lord we want to thank you that you're doing that and that you are teaching us mm -hmm. how <clears throat> to dwell, dwell, dwell together in unity as mm -hmm. the body of christ in the city of san antonio yes. Yes. and even as the scripture says we are preferring others above ourselves that is love yes. that is what you've called us to and Lord, we ask that you move, work on this in our hearts, yes. that, Lord, we are so, uh, see the importance of it, and that we are living it because it is unto you. And we want to thank you for the promises of revival that you said you're sending to yes, and through the city God. of San Antonio. So, Lord, uh, we yes. ask again yes. that you move by your spirit and cause it to be so. We and Lord, we want to thank you, Lord, yes. that yes. no every word, every prayer is kept in the bowls of heaven. It never dies. It is there. And Lord, you are going to pour those prayers out on our city. Yes. And we're going to see uh, revival and blessing like we've yes. never uh, seen. Eyes have not seen, ears have not heard what Amen. you're going to do. Yes. And Lord, we know you're going to do it because the prayers are continuing to reverberate in the realm mm -hmm. of the spirit. Yes. And we are continuing to pray those prayers because Amen. Lord, we know that you are faithful. So we thank you, Lord, for every prophetic word that you have caused to be declared over the city of San Antonio. We thank you because you stand, you, you, the Lord God himself, you stand by every word to perform it. And so we thank you for you standing by your word to perform it. We thank you for you moving by your spirit upon us, the people of God, to pray into those words and to do what we can do, what we are calling you to do, you are calling us to do, to advance your kingdom purposes mm -hmm. in those words and otherwise. As we bless you, Father, we thank you, Lord God, for the amazing privilege you have given us to serve you. Yes. We are so thankful that our names are written in the Lamb's Book of Life, that we are yours and you are ours. Oh, hallelujah. We bless your holy name. Yes. Lord, we are grateful. Yes. We are so yes. thankful. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Bless thank your holy you. name, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. For your love. Uh, thank you for praying with us today. Um, it's always a joy to pray with you. We so uh, appreciate you joining with us. And everyone that comes around the table to pray, uh, continue to pray. Continue to seek the face of God. Our labor is not in vain in the Lord. Amen. So thank you. We'll see you. We will not see you next week. We will not be here next week. I have to be somewhere. Jonathan has to be somewhere. We have to be someplace else. But that means you guys can pray wherever you're going to be. Wherever you are, you can continue to pray next week, Friday. And so we'll be here the week after. 
So thank you for joining us today, and thank you for joining us in two weeks. And we will see you then. Bless you. <laughs>